Today I'm painting with thread. Some assembly required. Hello and welcome. I was originally going to do another punch needle embroidery project today, but the cloth I bought was apparently super wrong and it just tore and shredded and it just did not work out. I'm not listening to you, universe. You can't tell me what to do. But apparently you can put me off a little bit. So while I wait for my new cloth to arrive, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss that video. I will just pivot to embroidery. So I took a class a lot of years ago and they called it thread painting. Here is my project. I'll get a better shot of that. So it's basically embroidery, but more random. Like you don't need to know all the special little stitches. You just kind of paint with the thread. Of course, that appeals to me. I like a project that you can just jump right into and have no idea what you're doing, as you may have noticed. Lily's birthday is coming up, so I'm going to make something cute that I think she'll appreciate. But also, I'm going to use a mesh fabric. I think these used to be curtain shears, because I like a challenge. First, I will make a simple little drawing of Lily and her bunnies. And then I will trace it onto the fabric. Oh no, now it's gone. Okay, apparently I will go over the drawing again so I can actually see it from the front. Now it's time to start embroidering. So I split my floss in half so the strand isn't too thick. You can split it more or you can use the full strand depending on what you're looking for. And I'll just start out on the face kind of sew along the edge here, and then get to filling it in. That's the end of my strand, so I'll just tie a little knot on the back. I do not want anything getting loose. Then I'll just use the same technique to fill in all my shapes with color. Since I'm using a transparent cloth, I just have to be a little bit more careful with my threads on the back. Like they can't cross any open space, or you could see them from the front. Here's a closer look of what I have so far. See, for the arms and legs, I just sewed out and back to keep it neat looking. You're next, bunnies. It might be a little hard to see, but I'm using black for the features on the gray bunny and brown for the black bunny. It's not really 100% what they look like, but it's close considering it's just thread. Now for the hair. I thought it would be cute if I actually braided it and let it stick out. It's a little bit in the way, but I think it's worth it. Now I'll just trim off all the extra fabric. Ta-da! feeling just a little bit paranoid that all the fabric is going to slip out of the hoop. So I'm just going to put a little line of glue around the back. When it's dry, I'll trim as much as I can. While I'm here, I'll put a dab on the bows too. Okay, I think that's really cute. I'm a little surprised how easy it was to embroider onto the mesh. I thought, uh, for some reason, I thought it was going to be kind of a lot of work trying to make sure that I don't show any threads, but it kind of worked out. I think that it would be fun to play around with different backgrounds, like maybe you could have different things that you could switch out in the back, but not today. I hope you enjoyed watching this project. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the all notification bell so you don't miss that punch needle project. It's going to work one of these days. New videos come out on Saturday mornings, so until the next one, be awesome, and I'll see you then. Bye!